So we just got to live in the nightlife. All right, so they got a brand new Fountain Peugeot. Invited us over to check it out. Brand new spanking boat. See. that loves adventure, connecting with people, and trying something new. Try something new every day. Four years ago, we got rid of our house and all of our stuff and moved into an RV full-time to give us the freedom to explore the world. Since COVID shut down international travel, we are back in the RV for more adventures until we get our sailboat sometime in 2021. Let's inspire each other along the way and live a life with no regrets. So hit that subscribe button and let's get ready to try something new. You. Hello! Hello. 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 Long last, brother. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. This is a dream, huh? Is it nerve-wracking going out on your own without like adult supervision? <laughs> <laughs> we hired we hired adult supervision. Yeah, we've got a captain. Yeah. So what I mean, yeah. just like on your own though, like there's oh, gonna come well, a point. No, you only <laughs> had that guy for so long. I know. That's why Ryan. You'll meet Ryan. He's my son. Uh huh. And so he's the adult supervision. Okay. So, yeah. They don't leave me unsupervised. Oh, Dad, Daddy, Dad, can you help me? Oh, <laughs> How's it going, brother? Good. Good to meet you. I'm Jimmy. Jimmy. All right. I'm Ryan. All right. So we're on a 45 foot pound Peugeot. This thing's dynamite. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Nice little seating area here. Yeah. Hey, Nixon, I think you're liking the oh, boat Nix, life. Do you like the boat life now? Is Nixon liking the oh, boat oh, life? Nixon tells like she didn't like the boat life. <laughs> You've got about five feet. So it seems like getting out of here is always the sketchy part. So everybody, all hands on deck to make sure we don't hit nothing. Port side's good. You got about ten feet. Good. You got six, seven feet right up here. What do you think? <laughs> we haven't got anywhere yet. Uh, way better than it was yesterday. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Hey, thank you, I appreciate sir. it. Hey, you're welcome. Let us know in any way we can help you. usable space. Yeah. I like that. It's a, uh, it's a huge boat. I'm like, you're doing it right. We're uh, waiting for the bridge to open here. They open on the hour and uh, we got four minutes till opening. We're, We're going under a bridge. So the real sailing doesn't start until you get out of the waterways here. Everything in here has to be motored and then once you get out into the open, that's when the big sails go up. But in here, you need to be a little bit more under control. So it's all motoring in the waterways. I don't know why the drawbridge is always one of the coolest parts of sailing. <laughs> that was cool. So when we get into the boat buying process, are we just buying the boat or what else is included here? You're buying the boat, but there's all the things you don't know that you don't know and all the questions that come up. And we messed up and um, we met Wiley and he, even though I didn't buy my boat from Wiley, I'm still, he knows everybody, he knows everything you need to know, he tells you what you need to know before you need to know it. There's nobody better to buy a boat from than Wiley Sharp. Wiley. <laughs> that's the nicest thing somebody that's never bought a boat from me has ever said before. <laughs> you guys, have you ever got stuck in the bathroom? Yeah. I got stuck in a public bathroom. Oh, I got right. stuck in a train bathroom. That so what? So Ryder is locked in the bathroom, <laughs> and he can't, he can't <laughs> unlock it. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's getting upset. Okay. All right, righty, do, turn it to the right. All right, now turn it to the left. 
Do you just want to spend the whole day in there? Is it, are you able to turn it? No, it's so hard. It's hard. Oh, here I got it, Ray. Stuck in the bathroom. Look at that. Mommy <laughs> saved your life. Yeah, let me get a shot of him coming up. <laughs> what, what happened in there? <laughs> uh, he was starting to panic. I was like, uh-oh. Oh, what? Oh, right. All right, give me five. You kept your cool. Yeah. You are a cool cucumber. <laughs> So the captains made an executive decision not to take us all into the Atlantic because it was way too rough on the day we went out. And besides, the next day they're going to get plenty of practice when they head down to the Florida Keys and the Bahamas. So after a couple hours of cruising and connecting with some great people, we decided to head back to the dock and continue our conversation about what we needed to know about boat life before our next adventure begins. So we got on board the boat today. We were pleasantly surprised that this rock star over here, Wiley and his wife, Laura. Wiley, we've watched so many of his videos about all the catamaran boat tours, of all the boats that we're interested in looking for. And holy moly, here he My is. God, a YouTube rock the man star. himself. I, uh, I don't know. What do you got to say yeah. about that? Yeah, so it's just a <laughs> beautiful Sunday in Fort Lauderdale. Why not go boating, right? Right on. All right. <laughs> You never know who you're gonna meet on a moat. On a boat. On a moat. On a moat. On a boat. Yeah. On a boat. <laughs> we just saw a moat. Yeah. Maybe those margaritas are kicking in a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what's happening here. You're looking really good. About three feet. You're about eight feet to the dock. There we go. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. All right. So we officially landed back on shore here. So we were lucky enough to get involved with these guys, the nightlife, we met up with Wiley, how cool was that? And we got to go out for a day on an epic boat, a 45 foot Fountain Peugeot, brand new off the showroom floor. These guys are doing it right. There's three generations on this boat. All right, Captain, how was the sail today? Uneventful, uneventful. It wasn't much of a sail. We didn't have much wind, but we made it work. We made it work. So, so I, I work with premium captains. I'm, I'm one of their captains and we're getting ready to take this boat down to the Keys for two weeks. And after two weeks, we'll see if we go to the Bahamas or not. And what does it feel like for you, like say you get these guys up to par and to watch them sail off into the sunset? Mm -hmm. What's that feel like inside for you? You know, I always feel good about it. It makes me feel really, really good because I know they're going to be out there doing their thing and uh, they get to have a whole new set of experiences and they tell me about it later. You know, they come back and they say, Tom, we couldn't believe what we saw. And uh, I get to be with them from the very beginning and watch them develop this that. So tell me, like, as a new, as a, as a person maybe looking to get a boat, what, what, what should we do? No, the most important thing, the biggest piece of advice I could get anyone buying a catamaran is, like, don't rush into it. Don't go off by the wrong boat because you are not going to be happy long term. And just, like, wait till you find the right boat, then go. Don't try to put a square peg through a round hole. And when it comes to buying boats, it's a lot of times an emotional decision, and you've got to remove the emotion from it and really figure out what is the right practical decision. Right on. Spoken from a true professional, we watch this guy countless, countless, countless videos on YouTube. If you haven't checked him out yet, definitely check it out and uh, get your get your catamaran on. So, what do you have to? Any advice to anybody that might be thinking about really trying something new and getting out there and getting out of their comfort zone? I mean, what what is your experience been or your your knowledge been so far to like you know try something new uh, you know i it, it's a tough it's obviously hard to, to make that jump but you're, you won't regret it. it it's a ton of fun it's one of those things that once you do it and you experience it it's uh you almost have to go both feet in yeah it, it, pick what you want to do make a plan and just go for it you know and i think the biggest thing is you can try to get as ready as much as you can you obviously need to get ready as best you can but for some things you just got to go you just got to do it and figure it out as it comes yeah I, I think it's such a compelling story that you have three generations on the boat. Like that yeah. to me is nobody's doing that. You know what I mean? Nobody. And so I think that's what really that's stands because, out. That's because it shouldn't be done. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how this idea came about. So again, the story with the boat, we, um, they called us and said this boat was available. And so um, was thinking, would people actually come? Would they visit? And so just had to hit the button on the contract and we were up at Ryan Jenna's. And Jenna was like, what are you worried about? I'm like, well, I'm afraid people won't come down the boat and it won't be whatever he thinks it is or he says they're gonna come. She goes, that's what you're worried about? And she walked by and she hit the enter button and bought the boat, right? Well, you so, really wanted a larger boat. I did, I still, yeah. But I, the business hadn't sold yet, so I was thinking this is a perfect size boat. 
so Jenna just helps it helps Help, us out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But now that you guys are trying to put so much stuff on it, you realize <laughs> that we need a bigger boat, right? Um, so anyway, went from there, and then Ryan and Jenna were like, they want to come visit on the boat, and then with COVID, the kids were they started homeschooling them, um, and then they actually came to us and said, can we live on the boat? And we're like, yeah. So um, we just decided to take a year and live on the boat together. So. Well, that and I can't really sail, so it helps that Ryan's coming with us. It takes pressure off. Yeah. Ryan and I were thinking of it before. So we're like, how are your parents going to feel if we're on the boat all the time and not just come and visiting them? And any, any advice to anybody out there thinking about getting a boat? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and if you've bought a few boats, you don't need my advice, right? But if it's a first time, I'm just going to say it again. Pick the right broker and Wiley Sharp's the right broker. He knows there's so many things that you, you just don't even know. Mm -hmm. And um, a broker shouldn't just sell you a boat. They should help you through the process. Yeah. Um, and there's good ones and bad ones. Yeah. And we didn't know what we were doing. And we didn't even buy a boat from Wiley. And yet he has been there every step of the way. He wow. knows everything. Um, so I'd say find somebody that has done it before and let him help you through. Yeah. Oh, manatee. Manatee, oh. get the manatee. What was, what was in the water just now? Manatee. What's going on here? Oh, he's not joking. Yeah, I don't think I'll be coming back here. Ah. Uh, quite a while. How much has it done? Uh, Cracking the coconut that we're sharing. Yours probably is pretty green. Yours might actually have some milk in it. Oh, yeah, look at that. What? Is there milk in there, right? Got him. <laughs> And this is exciting. Oh my God, look at that strong guy. You look after your daddy? No. Yes, you did. Do you know that I'm putting my face in the screen? <laughs> Hello, myself. So we gotta get all the hair off it first. Motor kept trying to open it, but I didn't get any chances. So can I try? I did it! We did it! A coconut. All right, good job. We just got to spend an amazing day with an amazing family, three generations, getting ready to embark on an epic adventure down to the Bahamas and the Florida Keys on this brand new mosquito, Fountain, Fountain Pujo. Pujo. <laughs> amazing, beautiful, wow. brand new boat. The world is amazing full. Amazing family. Yeah, the world is just full of great, amazing, wonderful people. Today we got to experience it. They let us into their lives for a little bit. Yep. And we get to share with you guys and what a better ending to a wonderful day. Then so we hope you enjoy the nightlife as much as we did. Get out there and try something new. Yeah! One, two, three! We live in Florida! Perfect! Make sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to YouTube. And make sure every day you try something new!